So everybody's going crazy over this Squid Game shit. Is it squid? <laughs> it's squid. Throws me off sometimes. I think I'm saying it wrong. We are talking squid game. I never would have thought I would say the word squid so many times in my life over the past couple weeks. But, man, we are saying it. Squid. Uh, it's one of those things. This is like the moments where you have to find. Now that you've seen everything. Now you've seen all nine episodes. Mm -hmm. you got to find everybody you know. And say, did you watch Squid Game? We have to talk about Squid Game. You have to talk about it. It's It's so... It's such a conversation piece. I love it. This is perfect for podcasts. They're talking about it everywhere, man. Everywhere. In like, Mor I got family in Morocco hitting me up saying, hey, bro, have you watched Squid Game? I like when stuff like, like, wow. I love when stuff like this happens. Like when there's when there's just something that affects everybody and it's universally loved, universally accepted. It's and it's somebody's hard work. Like you got to realize uh, Squid Game was these nine episodes. It was directed and written. Uh, by one person. So, like, literally one person did, did all... The, I'm not saying he was the only person that worked on it, but he wrote it and directed every single episode. So, it's it's different than, wow. the, than like, uh, like uh, WandaVision, for example. Like, they have a different director yeah. pretty much every episode. I mean, this one guy had a vision and yes. decided to, 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 to take it and run with it, man, and look what he did. But Fame City Podcast talking Squid Game is just yeah. going to be our, our thoughts on it. So, we're not going into any, any deep Easter eggs or anything, even though you could freaking chop this movie up incredibly it's got so many layers to it that, yeah. that's why it, i think that was the most intriguing part of it i binge watch. how did you watch it because i binge watch it in like two days and i don't binge watch anything like i'm not a bragger and say oh yeah 60 episodes i watch those in three days like no i can't do that mm -hmm. i i work and i have a family i can't, can't just binge i found the time to get all this in in about two days how long did it take you to watch everything um I'd say somewhere about three days so you spread it out a little bit more. yeah generally. i did like two and then like three and then uh, i did like Three, three, three. You know what's – and anybody that's seen it, you know what's weird is is episodes one through seven are about an hour long, and then episode eight is 30 minutes long, and then episode nine is about an hour long. Yeah. So it's like – I don't know why they, they – eight they really chopped up, and that was the – okay, so when we're talking this movie, I don't know how to say these people's names. I'm sorry. I'm not Korean. I, I don't have any Asian heritage. I can I, – and I, I'll butcher these horribly, so uh, I'm going to refer to them as the numbers. So their number in the movie, that's probably yeah. the easiest way to identify them. Well, in the credits, it'll say, you know, Asian guy one, Asian guy yes. two, like that. So, I mean, but we can do it by the numbers. Asian guy one through 456, apparently. Yeah. Which, by the way, you know, that the, the very first red light, green light game, that was actually 456 actual people in that in that uh, space. That's how they filmed it. It was 456 actors. They actually got that exact number yeah. with all their stuff. Pretty incredible. So he was the last person. He was, yes. He was the last one. And then, uh, so th that's what I like. So I will say this. The actors did a great job. I think performances were top notch, and and the the girl, the uh, 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 the, the main girl, the one who who dies at the at the end, unfortunately, the really really attractive one too. She was cute. She had freckles. Um, no, this was this was the O uh, six seven. Her name Jung Hong Yoi. I'm gonna say that wrong, but she was number sixty seven. She was like the real. Uh, she was the one that got killed at the she end. She was the tall one. Yeah, yeah. So she was the, the one of the last three, and and the uh, the uh, two two eighteen ended up killing her. Um, that was her first acting role. Did you know that? I got to say numbers, yeah. man. I'm sorry. I don't know names. But well, she did a good job, man, especially <laughs> from looking awesome. sad and crying and yes. hurtful and fe fearful. Yeah, I was going to say, like, this is, for your first performance, this one had a lot of emotion into it. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of ways you had to go with it. You have to be angry at things. You got to be, you got to cry. You have to be, you know, you're, you're, you're on the brink of death. And that's, that's a lot to ask for a first one. She knocked it out of the park. She's really attractive, too. She looked tall. Not to say Korean girls are not attractive. I'm just saying she's North Korea, South Korea. Um, I believe that she's South Korean. Let's see. I would imagine she has to be South. Yeah, because they're not letting people in North Korea no. shoot movies like that. Yeah, this is a, she's from Seoul, South Korea. She's she's genuine. maybe 456 per people beheaded. Yes, <laughs> she's a model. Actually, she's uh, 27 years old. And she's a model. Ooh, yeah. this is her right here, guys. Very pretty. So I'm hoping that opens the door for more roles for her because I think she did an excellent job. Now, how did you watch it? Did you watch it how Netflix makes you watch it? Like. Um, with with English dubbed over, like they're talking in their Korean, and but the English there's a voice yeah, actor for the yeah. okay. That's how I watched it too. I guess like the if you wanted to appreciate more of the performances, you would watch it just with English subtitles, and then they would speak their Korean language, mm -hmm. and you can kind of get the emphasis because it was kind of weird when they were talking, and some of their voices sound weird with what they were trying to make them say. Yeah. So, I think the voice actors did a good job, fairly fairly decent job. 
No, I th- there was that point. I mean, the, the the lips, of course, are not moving exactly yes. the same, but as and, far that, as and that can get distracting. So, yeah. like, you have to really you have to accept that at the beginning and say, "This is going to happen for all nine episodes." You you got to accept this for what it is. The emotion that they showed with the along yeah. with the actors, I mean, it was kind of it was kind of right on point, man. So I will say the the performances were excellent. Uh, the direction, the visuals. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was probably my favorite part. Every bit, uh, every angle, every every shot they did was so beautiful. And colorful, yeah, and done and done so cleanly, and I, with 456 people and every henchman and every every game and every little nuance, I was never confused at what I was looking at. Mm-hmm. That was one of the coolest things. It was just like I knew exactly where everybody was. I knew exactly who the bad guys were. I knew exactly what where they were at and what's what's the objective. Everything was so cleanly represented. Yeah, I thought that was incredible, and it was very little special effects. It was all real practical. All all, yeah. the, all the things they did. The so. shooting looked real. Oh yeah, and that was really intense. Yeah. yeah, every single shot was like loud and and like and a, scared the hell out of you. And a headshot, a yeah, kill shot. Everything was a kill shot. Yeah, very very few of them got it got it off any easier. Um, the music was really good. The the the, the direction was awesome. The what whole, about the actual games? So yeah, so the the first episode is the one that just that that grabs you and gets you addicted, and they did a such good job with that. And it was really, and the second episode was all really really confusing because I'm like, okay, wait, everybody left. Where's the rest of the game? Like, yeah, and that was that was a good that was a good uh, direction where they went with that. But yeah, red light, green light. I'm never gonna look at red light, green light the same. By the way, that's gonna oh, be yeah. that's gonna be very haunting. I tell you what, that old man, man. As soon as I seen him, I knew he was up to something. Uh, see, I didn't catch it. And he I was told having you this too much we, fun in the game. Yeah, I like, told you this before we record. I'm like that 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 twist was was the perfect twist. I had no mm-hmm. idea he was involved in any way. I thought they just had this old man here and he was out of his mind, like old men <laughs> sometimes are. But I figured he had something to do with it, man. Because when they they showed everybody getting shot, they didn't show him. Mm-hmm. They showed the guy walk away from him. Yes. Then you heard a gunshot. I thought that was suspicious too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I mean, like, everybody else they're showing the gory headshot, yeah. a couple in the chest torso yeah even stab people getting stabbed right yeah it was one of those where, where you, you get familiar with a character and then they go out of your way to show them being killed mm-hmm. and you're like okay well that's kind of that's final and yeah. that's how it goes but yeah when, when he ominously walks away from the old man and all you hear is the gunshot that's kind of suspicious now when we watch this show and we see the uniforms yes of the people who are running mm-hmm. and in the people who are actually working in that facility yes those two uniforms are going to go down man almost like <laughs> Oh Almost like the saw mask. Yes. Like Kruger. Yeah. Like like Jason. Like these are going to be those types of Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, we're in October. Yeah. But these costumes moving forward, everybody's going to wear these things, man. Yeah. That's how popular this stuff got so short of time. They were instantly iconic. Yeah. And like when's the last time something like that happened? Like just just looking at them, you're like, oh, that is like instantly recognizable mm-hmm. and simple, but so well done. Yes. It's like squares, squares, circles, circles and triangles. And triangles bro. Who would have thought you took three common shapes and now you made the most iconic outfit and they put them on a uh what's the name of that mask what's like oh like a fancy mask fencing mask yeah that's exactly right and they just put a one jumpsuit pink one red pink hot pink yeah almost red (laughs) just and and it was the it's the opposite of green so that was also a great direction that they did is is green and and red are are on the opposite ends of the spectrum so it's it's showing the the difference between the two classes i felt netflix man for a while was just like taking a hit man you know what i mean with all these other plays all these other uh, ones like streaming services like Hulu, HBO yeah. Max, Netflix. I mean, they have so many movies and and, and shows, yeah. but most of them don't really hit. Right. And they've been putting out these like subpar movies and shows, yeah. and then they hit it with this with this bad boy, yeah. man, and they take off. And and they found it. Like let's yeah, let's say oh yeah, I'm looking for a South Korean survival drama TV show. Where can I look for that? like who looks for that? Yeah. So. Uh, kudos to them and believe me i don't disagree i disagree with a lot of what netflix does i don't agree with everything they put on their platform and also their competition has gotten way more so they netflix for the longest time was on a when in league of its own it was like wwe for the longest time yeah man. it didn't have the competition then hulu showed up now you got hbo max now Prime, you got paramount now you got disney plus apple plus, apple, yeah, apple, apple tv, Prime apple Prime TV everybody peacock so it's like, tv yeah, you're not the only game in town so you have to step it up so this was a, a fantastic example of grabbing something like that, and this was only season one, so yeah. there's more seasons coming out. I hope so. That's that's they wouldn't if it was limited, it would be done. But I mean, they they gave you the ending to basically show you that he's coming back again with red hair. Wasn't that weird? That was that was now that kind of threw me off. Yeah, man. but I thought about it at the same time. I'm like maybe. He doesn't want to be noticed outside of here. He wants to go on a completely different. Yeah, don't be noticed. So get shockingly red hair. Yeah, put yourself out there. Well, yeah. I guess I don't know, man. 
well, one way to put yourself out there is to put yourself out there. People pay attention to you, but they don't, if right. that makes any sense. Um, yeah, sure. But anime. Oh, anime? Because okay. I thought like in that part of the, in that part of the world that oh, anime yeah, yeah, is kind of yeah. big. Yeah, yeah. And coloring his hair like that might be something no, like honestly, he'd, average. In that culture, he probably would fit in. Cause, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like their hairstyle and what they go he for. He just needed a Goku jumpsuit. He'd be <laughs> fucking Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> He fit right in. Dude. That's the extent of our anime. That's all we know is Dragon Ball Z. Yes, yes, <laughs> there's, yes. there's probably other stuff we don't know. But um, you liked it though, right? I really, really enjoy. I haven't, I hadn't got a show like this that's hooked me like that since honestly Breaking Bad. Like break, and now I was, hadn't seen Breaking Bad. Still. Oh yeah, ex- that's one of the best. I don't even have to rave about that. But like that's 2008, 2009. That's you know my two favorites. What are your two favorites? Game of Thrones, which oh, is yeah, awesome, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once I started, I watched that the second time all, all the way through, nice. and I didn't. I had to binge that. But American Horror Story, bro, and they actually have a new one out now too. Man, how many seasons is American Horror Story on? Because they've I been going on for a, a minute. I believe eleven. This is season eleven, bro. Yeah. Okay. Ten seasons coming out with the eleventh. One hundred and ten episodes. Wow. And that's on FX. So if you if you can sum up American Horror Story for me, sum it up in two sentences. What, what is the what is the show about? Just for those of you that don't know, and I'm probably the only person that doesn't because I've never watched it. So well, imagine this: they have a handful of actors, right? Okay. Each season is a different story with the actors portraying somebody else and a different character in that story. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they may add a new actress or actor, actor, but for the most part, it's a stable base. Mm-hmm. Right, and then what they'll do is each season they just it's a different storyline. It keeps you on your toes, man. So every season is one separate story that they follow through all the way to the end. Like Hotel Cortez, mm-hmm. which was about a guy in the back in the day who had a hotel that had like entrapment doors and secret doors and stuff. Oh, jeez! This guy really existed, and they have like a blueprint of the hotel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They only had like ten rooms, but they were back doors and stuff, and people would end up missing. Yeah, in his hotel, oh, my and goodness. he would he would literally like hide them for years and fuck them over and stuff but all right check out american horror story if you, if you have i would like to go into that on another show man. yeah well, well, I'll, to, I'll discuss and you could you could teach me on that because i have not seen a single episode so i'll have to do it um okay i, I got a question for you mm. let's take the six games the uh, the six squid games it's six different rounds how far would you make it in the squid games let's say worth is number 322 and i'm number 27 just because i picked that number mm. um Red light, green light. Are you surviving red light, green light? Oh, hell yeah. I think I would. It, and you know what? I think a lot. most people didn't survive it because it was the first game and they didn't really know what was going on. And that's what killed half of them because they all tried to run and panic. So the ones that didn't survive. But red light, green light, I think I, I like my chances on that one. Even if she didn't actually say red light, green light, yeah. she was saying she was singing a hymn, right? And right. every time she stopped, mm-hmm. you'd have to stop. Yeah. But it was on rhythm. That's why the old guy would run and stop. Yeah, yeah, run yeah. and stop. And he was like ahead of everybody. <laughs> With a huge smile on his face. He was loving it, man. I love that. That's but great. I'm making that game, bro. I think I will too, yeah. I got a pretty good. I got a pretty long stride too. I'm pretty yeah. tall, so I think I can make that within the five minutes. That's the, ca- that's the catalyst too. You got to make it within that five minutes. So yeah, I like my chances with that one. Um, okay, second one, uh, well, not the second episode, but the second one is now they're doing, um, uh, uh, it was the, it's like the, it, it's a Korean snack. It's yeah. like a sugar cookie or something like that. Uh, but it's a little, it's more brittle and they have to get, they have to cut the shape out of it. So that's like dexterity and they give you one needle and you got to try to cut the name. So I will say the lady two, one, two, which is one of my favorite characters, the, the crazy lady. Mm. Uh, she was probably, she was freaking hilarious. I loved her. The one that got banged in the shower yes. on the toilet. Yeah. I know that that show said there was going to be nudity, and I'm like, that's that's all we really got out of it. So, eh, sure, why not? Um, so, but two one two, yes. Uh, her idea of lighting the, you know, she got all sneaky and hid, and then lit the the needle and and cut it, and made it that way, was pretty genius. Mm-hmm. If you so, but I would say if you're going to pick a shape, what shape would you pick? But they didn't know what they were doing, yeah. so it's like if in hindsight, I would say probably the triangle is probably the easiest one to to get you only really got three corners to work with mm. the circle would be incredibly hard to try to keep that consistently around and then our main our main guy four five six he got the freaking umbrella that's the worst one to get how many freaking corners on that yeah i think i would have survived that one too you think you're making that yeah that's that's probably where i'm gonna be done I'll, I'll i just have i have big fingers so i would i would shatter it and then but i would say in that case knowing that that is going to kill you I will say in the event that I did shatter, I would have done what that one guy did. I would have rushed one of the guards and grabbed the gun and try to try to equalize this. I know they all got guns on me, but if I'm going to die, I'm going to take one of them with me, basically. So I, I can appreciate that guy. He did sacrifice himself. Mm-hmm. All right, so you're making it on to uh, – to, you made it past the game too. You probably left me behind. All right, we got oh, – R.I.P., bro. We, yeah, thank you. Oh, well, let's assume I made it. Okay, let's okay. Let's, let's assume yeah. assume I'm on board with it. Come on. Even though I think I'm dying in the second one, uh, we got tug of war. 
Now this is where we get into team stuff. Yeah. So this is like this is where it gets a change because now you got to pick, you got to pick nine other people, and you got to have a team of ten. So, and, and talk about the worst kind of they picked the worst team to have. They had three females and an old man, mm-hmm. and they even say that. And I really do appreciate the fact that they said that they were showing that the females were weaker because that's not an insult. Females are actually physically weaker, especially at a tug of war game. Yeah. So it's like that wasn't an insult. That was that was that was honest. Like, but you're gonna have a whole bunch of ladies. Yes. There's gonna be saying angry, me too and all that other yeah, shit. Yeah. There's gonna be angry blue haired feminists that are gonna say that's terrible and they gotta take that episode down. Um, but but honestly, that and if they knew they were playing tug of war, they would have had a way different approach to it. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a pre- that was horrible too. The tug of war game, like. I can't imagine yeah, how, you, how you would feel like, you know, like being tug of war and you're actually going you off a ledge. You got a weak ass squad, man. You're like, yeah. man, damn, I'm about to die fucking with y'all, yep. man. Why they couldn't pick some strong homeless people? They got two fucking bums. So if we got on the same team and as long as we, we, we picked competently, I, I like my chances in that. Mm-hmm. I think I've always been pretty good at tug of war for the most part. So I, I think I'm, I'm doing okay at that. And one, the old man knew the yeah. technique, bro. Yes. Because he's probably been in the games forever, bro. He yes. knows the techniques. And it was and it was actually really good, accurate way to describe the tug of war techniques. It's getting everybody lined up. You don't you stagger them. Lean you your them body up. back. Let lean your, your body do yes. the weight. And then the and then the ballsy move of running forward, like <sighs> as the first guy, four fifty six. I I don't think I would have agreed with that plan because you're the first one going over. So uh, ballsy move, but it paid off. So. Well, they didn't he go over and they pulled his ass back up. Well, yeah, he he dangled there for a second. They finally no. got him back up. So so let's say we make it past that. So what was the uh, so after tug of war? Let me see the tug war match. The jump game on the little the glass. Uh, oh, squares. it was the is the bridge, right? Yes, the the glass oh, bridge. My Ooh, my gosh! And you didn't know your number order. That was the other thing. Like you didn't know your number order. So the the first guy had it the worst. He had to get it perfectly every single time. Poor guy. That sucks. If you would have ran across really fast and like barely tap each one all the way to the end. Oh crap! We skipped one. Okay, hold on. Oh, did we? We're coming back to that. It's the marble one. That was the next. Oh, the one. marble one. Yes. Okay. Marble one, I'm Let me go on. for sure. I'm not. I've played marble for years, bro. And tragic as hell. Thirty years ago. Yeah. Well, tragic as hell. You know what's funny? It's like we probably pick one another. We're like, okay, yeah, me and Worth, we're gonna we're gonna go, and then find out that we have to play against one another, and one of us is gonna die. Like that's that's a horrible. And one of them was a husband and a wife. Mm-hmm. Like that was the couple, and I think the the wife had the wife died. Wife got shot, and then he hung himself in the next episode. When the one asshole stole the stole the marbles yes. from his buddy and gave him rocks. That was oh my god! I was, knew that was happening. That that was fear because I the the Pakistani guy. <laughs> yeah, the Pakistani guy was so innocent, and he had a wife and kid, and it's like he had, it was such a sympathetic story. And you're like, okay, they're helping each other out, great. And then he dumps out and has rocks in there. I'm like, oh, you asshole, bro! You have to know, not us watching, but him yes. being in the in that particular situation that all. Everything is against, all the marbles are against you, bro. Okay, <laughs> hey, there you go, guy. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Listen, man, you can't trust anybody with your life, bro. Yeah. And you you picked up the bag, put it around your neck, and didn't even happen to check just because you heard the jingle. At, well, that was his problem, man. Too trusting. That was his thing. That, oh. that, and and trust the, to get you killed. Yeah. Well, and and the guy took advantage of it too. So that's and that is what it is. Yeah. That's I didn't like that part. I'm like, ah, oh, they did him wrong. Like, uh, what a shame. And you know they got to kill him, but like that, what a what a crappy way to go. You got deceived. So. And that man thought he was going to win. Remember, he threw the marble. He was playing the guy with the tattoo. Yes. And he hits his end. Yes. Like, uh, oh, you got to fucking. They die. they filmed that so perfectly too. It's like it hit the rock and then it hits his end. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hated that guy. By the way, the you tattoo had, guy. You know the asshole had to survive a little longer. Of course, yeah. They had to make his death satisfying. That yeah. wouldn't have been satisfying. So yeah, and and the other guy was so confident. So. Okay, so now we get to the glass bridge. We're down to 16 people. Get to the glass bridge. Um, and the thing is, you got to go in completely blind. You don't know the number order. And naturally, what I would have done is I probably would have picked one because then you have the most time to do whatever the game is. So not knowing that, you know, you're going to be the first one. No, but you'd have the most time. But what if the people turned against you, push you off the ledge? They killed each other on that damn game too. Yeah, so that was real. That was nerve-wracking too, especially when, when, when 101 blocked the, you know, block the way you're on you're on your last three or four steps and he stopped and he had he's like somebody else has to do it or we're all gonna die like oh my gosh what a jerk and then it was it was 212 the lady the crazy lady that i love she, she i mean the drop the drop was just so far bro yeah. i mean there's no chance of survive if you're surviving you're you're, you're brain dead and you're just like so <laughs> it's good yeah and you see at the bottom oh. also when they do like for tug of war too there were some at the bottom that were still twitching, like to still still writhing in pain. Like that didn't kill them, but yeah, you know but what? They're, they're gonna get cremated and they're gonna die from that for sure. Goodness, man. So uh, I, the bridge was probably that was uh, one of the most unique 
uh, games that they did play because honestly, it's a fifty fifty chance every time. So it's like you've got the same odds. So it's it's you know there's there's no way about it. You're gonna you got to go one or the other, and and there's there's no there's no surefire way of doing it and figuring it out. When I'm watching the show, I'm like, okay, you jump, it breaks, but you have these two bars. Yes. I'm like, why don't you <laughs> grab these bars, right? That's that's what I would naturally think of. Yeah, just try to catch yourself. But I have a feeling though that would be cheat. If the glass broke and you tried to hang on, they're just going to shoot you. Like, they're going to shoot you, or at the end, remember when they blew up all that glass? Yeah. There could be something they, there, something that blow your ass right off the damn yep. ledge. So ah, I don't know about that one. Let's say I survived that one. Yeah, let's let's say you got lucky. You picked a low number, like freaking sixteen. Uh, yeah, sixteen was the best number. You just got to follow everybody until they make it. Like that's primo number. So down to the final three. Let's say it's me, you, and and the main character. And then we got um, – was there, one, there wasn't another game after that. She died after that. Um, and then it was Squid Game. That was the last one. Yeah. Now, be honest. We talked Squid Game like the name of the show. I have no idea how to play Squid Game. Yeah. No clue. Like, I don't get it. I know they explained it in the first, like, two minutes of that. I still don't have any idea. I thought the whole thing was a Squid Game. Like, yes. that, it was a Squid Game. Like, welcome to the Olympic Games when we have all yes. these games. I, but I, it I turns out the was, last game. Yeah, it's actually Squid Game. And yeah. that's actually a Korean game. So, I yeah. figure – so yeah, um, Squid Game to end it. I, I guess that makes sense. That was a sl- that was slightly disappointing. I kind of wanted I wanted a more elaborate game, but it fit with the story. So okay, I'm okay with that. They beat the shit out of each other, didn't they? That was brutal. That was kind of hard to watch too because they had knives and and he he bit his leg like he bit he his bit, ankle. He bit his ankle like oh beat off. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and then he fucking stuff make you cringe, man. He stabbed himself in the neck. Yeah, he went out like a champ. Good. Honestly, that's the best way it could have happened though. Like okay, well. bro. Just I'm, shoot me in the head. Give me one clean <laughs> shot, dude. Don't let me stab myself. Yeah, stab yourself and die slowly. My gosh, yeah. that's that's. And he cool. cried over him. Yes, dude. We I just fought to the y'all were killing each other, and you cried like this was your. He, they were friends growing up. Yes, but bro, yeah. you just tried to kill this dude, man. Well, and and it's sad because like, uh, 456 <laughs> also gave him an opportunity to to end it. You know, it's like if both of them agree, then they can end the game and they both go home. And didn't let it happen. So. I mean, but why would you want to go that far, that many people die, and then you don't get anything? So, I don't know. Well, he had the money. He was just buying beers and shit. Remember? Anyhow, I I survived. I won the money. (laughs) I I'm buying I'm buying buying a house in Champions Forest, okay? Did we ever figure out? So, it was 48 48 million, uh, no, 48 billion won. That's probably about a million dollars, bro. 45.6 billion won. I want to do it. This is what I've been wanting to do, and I haven't had done it yet. Because he had 10,000. He had a ten thousand bill, and that shit was gone. So that breaks down to twenty nine million, about thirty million dollars yeah. U.S. dollars, about thirty million bucks. That's a lot of money, dude. I take it. That's not bad. I mean, four hundred and fifty five people had to die to get it, but hey. So Worth is our uh, Squid Game champion. Apparently, I made it to the end, and I lost Squid Game. Even though the fact we neither one of us know how to play Squid Game, mm-hmm. uh, which I mean, do you really have to play? So they gave you the option. So you win Squid Game or you kill the other person. I think the much easier way would just be kill the other person. Uh, but at that point, I don't know. And also, you've been with that person the entire time. So you've had to have formed some kind of relationship. Now, And it also was more intriguing because, granted, if he made it to the end with, like, 101, mm. the asshole of the series, it wouldn't have been as, as intriguing. It was like, okay, yeah. now you want that guy dead. And honestly, at, at that point, 212, I kind of wanted him dead, but they still had a connection. And they yeah. still they, they formed that alliance and protected each other throughout the game. So that was a, a heartbreaking way to end it. So I don't want to get into all the, the stuff that happened after that and the follow-ups and it was all – the Keeping old, tabs on him and shit. Yeah, the old man was the, the, the mastermind the whole time. Which, by the way, I will say this, and, and this is what I want you to put up. So it, it, people on YouTube, I swear, assholes on YouTube, They there was a video that says, um, here's all the clues that, spoiler, was the mastermind the whole time or something like that. And they covered up his name, put spoiler. But in the thumbnail, they put a picture of the old man. So I'm like, well, who else are you going to be talking about, dude? Like, you just you spoiled the whole thing. So That's the bait, man. They said yeah. to get you in there, man, with I the bullshit. That. So I'll show you that picture. Yeah, that was terrible. So shame on you. You shouldn't be like that. I think that's why I binged it, because I did not want to get spoiled on anything. So yeah. I had to watch it as fast as I could. So now I can actually kind of go back and enjoy it. i got to watch it with my wife. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she'll dig it. Oh, yeah. So absolutely awesome series. Very huge fan of it. Well, I, I think it's going to fall off here in the next couple of weeks. I think it'll it'll fade away, and then the next thing will come along just like bird box. I think we talked about that before we recorded. And it, there's another new one. that comes right out. It's hot, hot right now. Uh, Halloween costumes abounding. I promise you there will be a, a thousand Halloween costumes. If you had to pick a Halloween costume to go in relation to squid game, what would you be? Uh, I'd probably mess around and do the, uh, the, uh, the head guy. 
Oh, the uh, the front man. The front man. Yeah, his mask was awesome. Yeah, I because really I have his. a hoodie just like that, trench coat ish. <laughs> it's it's long. Yeah, that's uh, all I need is a mask. I think that's awesome. And then I get the boots. I'd be like I'd be a triangle. Sure. Yeah. Like they get to they they have the guns, so that's cool. Yeah. I'd be a triangle. And if I had to be one of the people, I'd, I'd pick my own numbers. I wouldn't do like I wouldn't pick one of their numbers. Like I'd be my own numbers. Would you be 007? Ooh, oh, that's a good. So, was there a 007 in there? Oh my know. gosh, <laughs> who was number 007? See, there's there's a whole bunch of funny numbers they never did. So they're like, who's the 420 guy? Like, come on, there there has to be a 420 yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. and they never showed him. Actually, that could have been me, <laughs> because I, I'm high as hell right now. <laughs> Shit. I'm the 420 guy now. Yeah. So Worth is actually. So, so the, if you want to know who survived, <laughs> 420. <laughs> I okay. remember in like the in the Marvel game it was uh, they or yeah I think it was the Marvel game they said uh, player number two got killed I'm like oh wow we never even knew about the two this the second guy hmm. so I thought that was interesting that must have been hard to keep track of all the numbers you can keep track of 456 people that's well, you just shoot their ass and they're gone <laughs> I guess so go if you haven't seen it I don't know why you're listening to us but if you haven't seen it go check it out it's a, it's an awesome show it's well worth a watch very graphic but if you're willing to look past that it's 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 really good it's one of the most original shows i know people say oh it's it's just like this show in, in 1977 on korea tv and i'm like okay mm-hmm. for for what we've seen in, in 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 the past couple years this is one of the most original shows that has come out it's utterly entertaining um it, it's it's got great twists great characters it's still fairly new, guys. I yeah. mean, it's, you, know, you got some time to jump on it if you haven't seen it yet. But it's it's a lot of fun. You yeah. will enjoy it and for clear sure. out your schedule because you're gonna be, once you watch one, you're gonna watch the second, yes. third. The, I tell you, and I, I told this to Worth too. I said, man, first episode is designed to grab you and, mm-hmm. and suck you into that to that show. So and it does it excellently. So mm-hmm. go check it out, guys. It's amazing. Yep.